Brandonia Productions. Hey guys, Brandonia Productions here. <laughs> and, um, first thing I want to actually tell you about is a new website I'm starting, which is called the Visual Basic 2008 Programming Blog, which is pretty much a resource for you guys that are just learning how to create your own programs watching these tutorials. It's a code depository. Well, I'm going to insert code, and you could put those in your projects. And it's also a place where you could access the video tutorials. So you subscribe with the R RSS, and then it's going to tell you when there's a new tutorial. And then you're just going to want to press vi video tutorials. And then it brings up this player, which has all of the video tutorials in it. So if we press play, There'll be a menu bar. How to create your own software part one, getting started, and all the other uh, how to create your own software tutorials. Okay, well, let's get started with our um, tutorial. What we're going to do is create a new project, a Windows Forms application, and we're actually going to be discussing how to create a notepad type application, a text editor. So, what we're going to do is name this tutorial Notepad. Okay, and here's our new project, um, the interface. Now, first thing we're going to want to do is resize the form using these little button things here. Make it bigger. Okay. Now, since our form is about the right height and length for a notepad, we're going to open up the actual notepad. So once we open this up, we notice first thing we see is the notepad icon, and then the untitled notepad thing, and then we see the menu bar. Um, if we open up our project, we don't see a menu bar, so we need one of those. So how to how we get a menu bar is we're going to go to the toolbox, and then we're going to go to then we're going to go to the menus and toolbar section, and get menu strip. We're just going to drag that into our project. Now, if you notice, there's a little lighter colored area right here at the top, where if you click on it, you can type things. This is our menu strip, which is just like the menu bar. Now, we need to insert the items, so we're just going to click on this little arrow here and press Insert Standard Items. Once you do that, it'll automatically insert File, Edit, whoops, 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 File, Edit, Tools, Help. Here's the edit. <laughs> um, yeah, so what we're going to need to do first is click on the file, and we're going to delete print pre preview, because we're not going to be going over that, or save as, and that's all we need to delete. So once we edit, insert our menu bar, we obviously need something to type text in, because this is a text editor. So we're going to insert a text box. Normally we would insert an actual text box into our project, but since this is a notepad and we need special features from the text box, we're actually going to um, put in a rich text box, which is a rich text box that provides more advanced features. So it provides more advanced commands like cut, copy, and all them. So we're just going to drag that into our form. We're going to put it until it locks in place right there. Sounds good. Drag it until it locks in place over here. And then... Um, if we start the project now and we maximum make the form bigger, the text box isn't going to get any bigger. So what we need to do is anchor it. So we're going to go into the properties of Rich Text Box One, anchor, and we're going to select bottom and right. Okay. Now what we're going to do is actually start typing our code. So first code we're going to go over is the new command. So file new. We're just going to double click on that new item. And then private sub new tool strip menu item click. This is the stuff when you click on that new item. So first thing we're going to be dealing with is new. So we're going to clear the text of the rich text box. So we're going to type in rich text box one because that is the name of our text box. Dot dot um, brings us up this menu to access all the properties and commands of the text box. So rich text box one dot text equals now what we do here is we actually get the text inside of the text box 
and we make it what we want it to be. So we're going to make it equal to empty quotation marks, which if you realize, there's nothing here. So when we use this command, the text will turn into nothing, therefore making it a new empty project. We're also going to do the exit command, which the exit command is very simple. Three letters, E-N-D, end. All the end command does is end the whole project, closes everything about the uh, program, and that's that's simple, right? Now we're going to start going into the edit menu, um, since this is easiest. We're going to double click on the undo, redo, and all these. So Now, if we highlight rich text box 1, which we're going to do, and then press a dot, um, you'll notice that we've been dealing in the last tutorials with uh, rich text box one or text box one dot text. The text uh, icon is a little hand pointing to a little properties menu. It looks like now this pretty much means it's a property of that thing. So the text of the text box is a property, or the selection color is a property, product name is a property, margin is a property, lines is a property. Okay, so those are all properties which you can manipulate and tell it to do different things with those properties. Now these things with a pink box on them are actually command boxes. So what that means is it tells the rich, box te rich text box to do something. So we're going to tell it to undo. So we type undo and undo comes up. Sure enough, it's a valid command and it has a box by it. That means we're telling it to do something. So we're telling it to undo. Okay, now form one, we're going to redo also. So, rich text box one dot redo. Sure enough, it also has a pink box by it, which means it is an action. And then we're going to do the same thing rich text box one dot cut. Rich text box one dot copy. rich text box one dot paste and then last but not least select all rich text box one dot select all and it has a pink box it is a command that's how we do it <laughs> okay so we're gonna start debugging our project Once we start debugging, we're actually going to change the size of the form to test our anchoring. And it looks like it does work. The text box does change in size according to the form. So we're just going to maximize it. And then the file, edit, tools, and help menu do seem to work. So what we're going to do is click on the file menu. Well, first we've got to type something. So I'm just going to type a whole bunch of random stuff. Okay. So now if we click the file menu and press new, You'll notice it cleared the text. So now we pretty much have a new sheet of paper or a new project. Now if I type a whole bunch of stuff again and press file or edit undo, it undoes me typing all that text. So then I'm gonna press edit redo and it redoes my undo. So it adds that text back in. So now I'm going to highlight a certain num a certain amount of that text. I'm going to highlight all of it. Then press edit, cut, and it cut it. Now I'm going to press enter, and then press edit, paste. Now I'm going to add some stuff to it. Let's see. Edit, copy. Edit, paste. Okay, so now that we've tested all those commands, we're going to select it all, delete it, press file then press exit and all the commands we typed in do work so thanks for watching this tutorial um, how to create your own software part five uh, please make sure to uh, comment rate subscribe uh, shoot me up a PM do whatever you want and remember my website is brandonsoft.com and be sure to check out VB2008 programming blog um, the link will be in the description so thanks for watching